disappointing 2-2 two two record into Florida field to face the undefeated and fourth-ranked Florida Gators. Welcome to College Football Primetime, brought to you by Hampton Hotels. It is a warm, humid night in North Central Florida as the Gators seek revenge against Auburn, the only team to beat them a year ago. Thanks, Mike. Obviously, knew we got from down by the Mobile, Alabama, from Derek Marks. Next to him, we got Stump, Wedding Bell, Josh Thompson. And our linebackers are anchored by Craig Stevens, Nick in Florida. Next to him is hit stick, Trey Blackman, number 10. And guarding our back as always, ever dependable J Dub and Gerard Bowlegged Power. Tebow sits in the pocket, throws incomplete. It was intended for faceoff. And that's exactly what Will Muschamp, the defensive coordinator, said they wanted to do against Tim Tebow. They said they wanted to make him throw the football to beat them. At fullback, we have Carl Hollywood Stewart. At receiver, we have the playmaker, Rod Smith, and at tight end, Cole Bennett. On the offensive line, we have a few young guys anchored by right tackle, Lee Zimba, and the leader of that offensive line, is Sam Jason. third and long. He's tried to force some things and gotten in trouble. There's a screen to Tate. There is a flag down on the play. Tate stays on his feet across the 20. Now we'll check the penalty. Also coming in to try to block a punt. Actually, it's Cornelius Ingram, number yes, seven, it is. who made the contact, and that's a big guy. I mean, when he hits you, you're not going to do that secretly. He's six foot four, about 245 pounds. Just didn't uh, take a good angle. Did your show blitz come with five? They block it pretty well, and a perfect strike for a first down out at the 45. Rodriguez Smith, who was averaging 23 yards a catch, turns in 21 there. Cox, play action fake, throws to the near sideline. Smith again, across midfield, reversing his field, looking for a block. One more man to beat if he had beaten that tackle cleanly of Wandy Pierre-Louis. He's gone. Perfect strike down to the 30, and another first down. Montez Billings, who had been out, makes only his second catch of the year. Three touchdown passes so far this year. Fannin, nice cutback. Fannin inside the 20, another first down to the 19. A very impressive drive for Auburn. Position tonight. Cox throws the slant complete inside the 10. Rodriguez Smith make that catch again. Thing down here. Here he goes. Quarterback draw inside the five. Touchdown. So Brandon Cox does the work, takes them the length of the field. The freshman comes in and gets the board. Doesn't matter how you get it done. That, that was excellent teamwork, and that was a little bit of hey Tip Tebow. Tebow flushed out of the pocket. And look at that swarming defense. And look at Will Muschamp, the defensive coordinator, right over there throwing the headsets off and patting his guys on the helmet. Draw play. Fanning. 30. Up to 
the 32 before he's driven back. Very close yeah. to the first down sticks. Cox, play action fake, throws over the middle and complete. What a nice catch by Montez Billings. Here's, here's Scott Van Pelt. Savage, the strong safety, back to Scott Van Pelt. Right now on quick moves or breaks or cuts to the outside, but he looks good running the takeoff pattern. But so Patrick, Patrick Lee, Lee, absolutely, right there with him. Reading the eyes of Caldwell. And right there. Third and long. Tebow sets in the pocket, throws underneath the heart of the net, was beautifully defended by Aaron Savage. He stayed right with the speedy wide receiver and stopped him short of a first down, and they'll have to try a field goal. They're down 7-0 to the visiting Auburn Tiger. He has three up there, and field goals, and it's blocked. Florida cannot advance that ball. We talked about Auburn. What do they have to do? The Dell X factor. They've got to win turnovers and they've got to win special teams. They get the stop. Cox, another completion this time to the fullback, Stewart, who comes out of the backfield. That play, that could have easily been another 15 yards against the Gators for a late hit. Tate. Both of his blockers were taken down at the line of scrimmage, and Tate did the rest by himself. Here's Holly Rowe. Into the season. Cox, good protection by the front wall, and throws another perfect strike for a first down. Montez Billings with three catches tonight. That was for 25. He's bobbing his head. They're trying to draw him off here. Drawing him off is not a first down. They'll go with Tate and Tate has a first down. What a gamble, and it paid off. Tate the tailback. Tate gets the carry. Oh, he's in. His he's in. Ball over the line. Touchdown. This is something. They spread him out to make him look like pass, and they spread out that Florida defense a little bit by formation, and then just ran the inside zone play. And Ben Tate stretched over the goal line. You see his knees weren't down because he landed on That's going to be short of a first down. Ball Drop comes ball. loose, and Auburn will take over. It was going to be short of a first down anyway. The second effort by Lewis Murphy as he turned around and tried to get it, and Patrick Lee came up and made sure he did not get to the stick. This was Oh, it's killing us. We've had a problem with that last week, and it's killing us right now. It's taking us out of, uh, it's taking us off schedule and offense, and then that uh, special teams penalty was, was awful. How do you fix it, though? 
How do you fix it? You teach them not to do that. Let's, let's get to the second half. All right. Thanks, Coach. Possession of the entire game. Shoemaker to kick to James. It's a great bounce after a low kick, but James had no chance to get up there and give it a return. Slightly over 300 yards a game, so their defense has been pretty good. Tebow. First and goal, Tebow trying to do it himself. Hit in the backfield and dumped back at the six. What a play by Senderic Marks. get on the board with 11.58 to go in the third quarter. Not what they wanted, but the score was set up by a 52-yard bomb. Shoemaker, who is averaging over 47 yards a kick this year, to punt to James, who's telling everybody to get away in a great bounce for the Auburn Tigers. That will carry all the way inside the 25-yard line. A boomer that goes for 50. Tebow threw that one up for grabs. And it's picked off. Patrick Lee fielded it like a punt. Tebow did not carry off much of a fake. It looked like he was trying to kneel down. Second and slightly over 10. Cox, another short set. Down the sideline. Is it inbounds? Yeah. It is. At the Florida 31-yard line. Caught by Rodriguez Smith for 17 yards. Control to find a way to get his foot in there. Here's Bannon again. And all at once, Auburn has taken the momentum right yep. back from the Florida Gators. It's going to be when they get some experience. Huh? Fannin again. Getting a little help on a push from behind this time to take it down to the five-yard line. It will be first and goal. Lee Zimba couldn't get in front of him, so he got behind him. Bynum will try a 30-yard field goal. He's making a 14-point game again. And he got it through just inside the left upright. So Brandon Cox and the Auburn Tigers have an answer to Florida. And Tim Tebow trying to figure out what happened on that interception. Looking ahead to its matchup with Florida next week. This afternoon when they played Tulane, this is Harvin, and can't get away, taking down two yards shy of a first down. Tebow playing quarterback draw, trying to get to the 45. He did not make it for the first down. I am very impressed with this Auburn defense tonight. Inside the tackles, I've hold their own. Pat Sims and Josh Thompson that time just closed that hole completely. Yes, sir. And then the speed on the outside, the play on third down, tackler, second down, tackling Percy Harvin. Tebow only 24 yards rushing on nine carries. That's Auburn takes over at the 20. Takes straight up the middle. Gaping hole. Takes fumbles. That's the break the Gators needed. Tebow under pressure from the end zone. Touchdown, Ingram. Starting a day of upsets. Back to you and Gators. God, it has been an amazing day. Here is Smith with another big catch on a perfect throw from Brandon Cox.
and they could sure use some more of that magic right now. Tebow fakes, goes deep, Arvin. And during the timeout, Todd Blackledge said, you know what it'd be good to do right now? This is usually nothing fancy, just smash match. And Tebow takes off straight ahead, touchdown. Here in this second half, right up on the receiver. Fake the end around. Cox to start, it was wide open. Second time they've gotten the fullback out of the backfield. This time, the fake of the reverse bought him a little more time. So the Gators have it up at the 42-yard line. They throw to Harvin on a comeback screen, and Harvin grabbed, apparently by the shoulder pads, spun around and taken down. A big-time play by the Auburn defense. Stand by Auburn. Great pressure, forced Tebow to leave the pocket, forced him to throw off balance, throw early, and nearly picked off. That was an excellent defensive stand by Auburn. Josh Thompson in there, Mike Blank, Jake Ricks, Shank, Henry to punt to Dunn, not a good kick. And it will go on a bounce to 38 yards. Shorts it to Smith. And Smith has a first down at midfield. Boy, has he turned in a big game. Well, they've hit this slant quite a bit. Field goal in. And they'll give it to Tate. Cut back. Wow. Tate still on his feet and dives for a first down. What an effort. Yep. And Auburn has things in control. Tate again. Cut back down to the 30, to the 29. Nice block by Carl Stewart, the fullback. Tate. Very close to a first down. Boy, I tell you what, this Auburn offensive line, we, we've talked about it tonight. You're going to right now. Urban Myers right by the official. Yep, they did. Urban Meyer waited right before the ball was snapped and called timeout. This is not going to count. Urban Meyer called a timeout before the kick. He did it perfectly. He kicked the winning field goal and it doesn't count. Now they've got to do it again. Mike Shanahan did it two weeks ago in their game against the Raiders. And Janikowski missed it the second time. Mike knows what he's doing too. Yes, sir. Can Byron make it again? Wes Byram. He made the winning field goal twice. And the fourth ranked Gators go down at home, ending an 18 game homeward streak. Boy, he had to get that ball up in a hurry, too, because. Florida had some lift there for the block attempt. Watch how quickly this ball gets up. In your face with the Gator Chomp as he leaves the field. I take you back to the fourth down play in the first half. You decide to go for it because you came to win. What, how hard was that decision? Well, it's pretty hard. But when you go on the road, you got to take all the points you can get. This is a good football team in Florida, and we needed some kind of boost, so I just kind of took a gamble, and it worked. What went through your mind when they called timeout after the successful first try? Well, I saw that on TV the other day, I think, in the pros. And somebody did that, and it worked for them. But uh, Wesley stood in there and kicked it. You know, that's what it's all about. you got to make plays when they're there. Wes, you're a true freshman. What was going through your mind after you had to go through that again? Just to get down there and hit the field goal. I mean, we worked hard all week to beat them, and practice was rough, but we came through, so. Good job, freshman. Thank you. Guys? <laughs> Holly, oh boy. what a weekend.